second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. John, how can we help you, sir? I had a really good date, first date, with uh, this girl named Cindy. Mm -hmm. And it was a fun time. We went out. We had something to eat. Everything seemed pretty good. Uh, I got a little, little sloppy. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't happy about that, but we ended up back at her place, not for any shenanigans, just kind of hanging out, you know. And we, you know, kind of hung around for a while. Things kind of wound down. I took an Uber home, and now she won't return my calls or texts. Okay. Now, you said you got sloppy. What do you think you might—do you think you might have done something while you were sloppy, or or do you remember doing something? Uh, Not really, man. (laughs) Okay. Well, the possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what type of drunk are you normally? Obnoxious, loving, violent? <laughs> no. Fun? I'm a happy drunk, man. Happy I'm drunk. Happy drunk. So you say. Yeah, exactly. Who knows? The type of happy drunk who vomits on his friends? No. Because <laughs> uh, that's me. Um, okay. Well, okay. So, that's uh, nice. We're going to try and call this girl for you next, though. See if we can set this up, okay? Now back to the second date update on the 10. With Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. All right, we just spoke to a guy named John. Sounds like a nice guy. He said he went out with this girl, Cindy. Um, during their day, he said he got a, a, a little drunk. Yeah. A little drunk. He does remember getting in an Uber on the way home from her place. Um, and then he said ever since then, he hasn't heard anything from her. And he wants us to hit her up for him. Now, the, the chances that she's going to say something not nice about you if she answers the phone, John, are 96.9%. Yeah. You know that, right? Yeah, I do. Okay, so you ready for this? Sure. Okay. So if, if we can't get you another date, at least we'll get you some closure. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, hang on. Hello? Hi, is this Cindy? Yes, she's this. Uh, Cindy, it's Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa. We're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. And uh, can I just say, we got your phone number from a gentleman who wanted us to call you on his behalf. And, Why? Okay, just let me ex- <laughs> let me explain. This is a, it's a good, there's nothing bad about what's going on right now. So this guy, you know him, and I'm going to tell you his name. He would love, he thinks that you and him have a connection. He would love to take you out on a really nice date. So basically, the reason we're calling you is because if you say yes to this date, you don't have to, but if you say yes, we'll pay for whatever date you want to do. Like, you name the place, we got you. And, you know, see if you hit it off with this guy. Worst worst case scenario, you and this gentleman don't hit it off, but you have a really good meal and some drinks. Mm. Mm, no. yeah. How about mm. I just? How about I tell you his name? And we'll and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. Before I tell you his name, I just want to say that he he apologizes if he had a little bit too much to drink last time you guys hung out. Uh, it's John. Uh. Wow. <laughs> That's a new sound. I know. It's kind of like a sigh. Kind of noise. Mixed with, the, mixed with a burp and some That's sort of... like the worst person you could have said, but I'm just not even surprised. Really? Okay, so he said that you guys had a good time and, you know, he, he remembers leaving your house in an Uber, but the next day he said that, you know, you weren't... That since that day, basically, you, you haven't reached out to him or you haven't replied to any time that he's reached out to you. And, and we asked him, we said, well, what did you do while you were drunk? Because that's the first thought. And he said he doesn't, he doesn't think he did anything. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't. The date was all right. I mean, it was fine. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't anything bad. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, I, I, was, I wanted to give him a chance because he seemed kind of, like, interesting, even though he did get sloppy and I had to end up driving. Which, and... We're, like, driving, and we hit some weird traffic, and he's just complaining so much that he has to pee. You know, he has to use the bathroom. It's like, I can't pull over. I don't know, dude. Like, hold it. You know, I'm like, don't piss on my seats. And, you know, he kind of, like, laughs, and it gets real weird because he just stops talking about how he has to pee. Yeah. Yeah, and then we, like... (laughs) talk and it kind of gets weird and it just dries up and I'm like um I think you should leave so he gets in an Uber and he goes home and I just pass out you know I take another shot of tequila I go out of 
sleep, I think like, okay, dude, maybe we'll hang out again. And then I go into my bathroom and I smell something and I look in the garbage and I see an adult diaper like filled with piss. And it all makes sense. She's one of those freaking like people who wear those adult diapers and he didn't even like bring me into his little fetish. Like it just it was weird. Super weird. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, wait. Are you talking about a diaper or like a depends undergarment? Like not that there's a big difference, but there is. I think it's a diaper. I mean, I don't know what the difference is. We can, okay. I mean, we can ask it. Okay, so Cindy, uh, uh, John's on <laughs> the phone the right now. This is the bizarre thing. Why? Hey. Why would you do that? I, I didn't think what you were going to. Hey, John, are you still there? Yeah. John, um, we're having we're having a debate right now. Yeah, uh, were you wearing uh, an, an, an ad- like depends like an adult diaper like that, or were you wearing huggies? <laughs> I mean, My ass is a little big for huggies, guys. Okay, so you're wearing an adult diaper because why? All right, first things first. I got to say, I never did that before I went to a game at Foxborough with my buddies, and everybody was wearing them because, it, you know, it was cold, and yeah. we were drinking a lot and all that. So being the first date, I thought, look, I'll wear one because I don't know how long it's going to be, where we're going to go, whether I'll be able to, you know, just slide away and hit a men's room or whatnot. I would have gotten out of her car and hit a tree, but it was that kind of traffic. We really couldn't do that kind of thing. So... Mm-hmm. I'm kind of glad I wore it, Um you were, obviously, in retrospect, it wasn't the best idea. You were planning ahead by wearing a diaper? What if you guys want to have sex and she sees you pull your diaper off? Dude, it was the first date. I never thought that was going to happen. Right. Not to mention, you do realize <laughs> that, that like, adult diapers are meant for, like, a, le- a few leaks, not for, like, an actual stream of pee going to the bathroom. Yeah, it worked for me at the Pats game. Wow. So <laughs> rationalizing this reasoning as to why you think it's okay, but it's really f- weird. Hold on. No, Cindy, you it know what? Weird. It might be, You might think it's weird, but all his reasons do make kind of sense. And it's not like he didn't pee in your car. He threw the diaper in your trash. He didn't try and flush it down your toilet. Those are all positives. Why keep uh, a secret, then? The bar so why yeah. not tell me? We got- Look, I'm sorry I left it in your bathroom. I'm sorry that it stank up the place. I really am. But, you know, it happened. It is what it is. You want to go out on another date or not? <laughs> Jeez. No. What an no, offer. No, I don't want to go on a date. Wow. Ever. With you. That's all there is to it.